to this dumpster diver's kitchen. I think it's episode three. I don't know what's going on with my hair back here. So today I need my nails done so bad. Like every time I try to pull my hair up, any of you that get your nails done, I'm sure you're struggling with the same thing because they're grown out so much your hair goes like underneath your nail. It's horrible. I know first world problems. Anyway, today I am going to be making peanut butter blondies. First time, never made them. We love peanut butter cookies in this house, so I figure why not try peanut butter blondies? So come along with us, friends, and let's try and make these blondies. All right, so I'm getting my ingredients together. First thing we're gonna do is preheat our oven to 350 degrees. Then you're gonna mix, I got this on allrecipes.com if you'd like to know. I'll link the recipe down below. Um, we need to get a 9 by 13 baking dish and spray it with some cooking spray. So a 9 by 13 pan can be glass, whatever you got. And where's my spray? Spray your pan with some cooking spray. You need one stick of butter. We're going to warm that up so that we can mix it. Um, if you have a KitchenAid, of course, use that. I don't. I say this every day, but I don't have one. This seems pretty simple, so I'm pretty sure I can handle this. Let's hope anyway. And I just melted it all in my microwave. Son of a bee. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious, Shannon. So the first thing we're gonna do is take a cup of peanut butter with one stick of softened butter. I accidentally melted mine, but that's okay. And we're gonna beat that together. And then we are, let me read my recipe. <laughs> I'm unprepared as usual. And then you're gonna gradually beat in your brown sugar, which you need two cups of, and beat that in, and then you're gonna beat the eggs in to that mixture as well, one at a time. And then you're gonna add vanilla extract. And then you gradually sift in your flour. And that's it, that's your batter. It's so simple, so hopefully I don't mess this up. So let's go. one and a half cups of flour into the mixture until the batter is well combined. <laughs> into our pre-greased 9 by 13 pan. Then you're just gonna make sure you spread it out so it's nice and even and you don't have one side that has more batter than the other. Then we're just gonna pop this into our preheated 350 degree oven for about 30 to 35 minutes. Um, it all depends on your oven. Like I have a gas oven and it tends to cook things a lot faster. So I'll probably start checking it around 25 minutes with a toothpick just to insert a toothpick and see if it comes out clean. If it comes out clean, then it's done. And then this should make about 24 bars. So once you get it out of the oven, you're going to let it cool for about 15 minutes and then you can slice it into the bars. So we're going to pop this bad boy in our oven. Set our timer for 25, that way I know to check it. It may still need 10 more minutes. We'll see when that's done. So it is 
it's been 35 minutes. I did need to leave it in longer because 25 just wasn't enough. And here is what it looks like. Wish I would have just taken it out maybe at 30 minutes, but I was outside talking to my husband. So I'll show you the finished product. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope all of you guys are staying safe and you're getting through this as best as you possibly can. I am definitely praying for all of you. I think everybody in the world right now needs prayers. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. And I think I might go out later and check some dumpsters. So if I do, I'll, of course, bring you guys along for the ride with me. All right, peanut butter blondies. Oh, my God. Look at that. Oh. All right, taste testers are here. They're going to try it. Give it a whirl. Let Mama know how it is. Are they good? Do I know like a million. A million? And 90. A million and 90. <laughs> what about you? One zillion. One zillion. All right. So hey, try I'm those peanut butter one. blondies. You think all of my subscribers should make them? Yeah. Yeah? You heard it. You guys need to try them. <laughs> what is up, YouTube family? How are you doing? So I was in the middle of making my cooking video and I was like, mm -mm, not digging it. You know what? It's beautiful outside. So let's go. So I was in such a rush to get out of the house. I forgot my freaking tripod, but here's what I'm going to do. My glasses are so dirty. I can't see anything. Um, I'll take you up and show you what's inside the dumpster and then I'll put you back in my car and just get everything out That way you can at least see what's in there But I'm not gonna be able to take you and like hold you while trying to dig through the dumps Especially this one which we're going to the B.L right now Which for those of you that don't know the B.L is big lots I just don't like to say store names so I make nicknames for them or I use um, Like Aldi's is the discount grocery store um CBS is the pharmacy. You know what I mean? Like, I don't like to say names of stores because I don't want a manager or an employee to know which store I'm at. And then they're like, oh, wait, that looks like my store. And then they start destroying. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. It is locked, but hopefully it's filled up and we can reach our hand in. Well, my hand, not our hand. <laughs> <laughs> Although you guys are with me in spirit. stuff in there and I can't show you because I can't get the lid open. Alright, I'm going to see if I can bring some stuff up closer. Man, does that suck, guys. So there's a whole freaking crate, a whole case of Keebler fudge stripe cookies in there, like the little boxes of them. So many in there, and they threw them all in the back of the dumpster, so I can't get to them. Oh, that burns my biscuits, guys. Okay, we're going to check this store that rhymes with Molly's. Mucinex Sinus Max. Let me show you guys what the dollar store did to all this bread. 
Look at this. Unbelievable. See all that, all that bread? They took it all out of the bags. That's a shame, isn't it? There's really nothing else I can get to in here. There's a bunch of mucinex. That's about it. I'll take two more of those. And we'll go check the pharmacy and the discount grocery store next. All right, so I'm gonna run up to this pharmacy because I think their dumpsters need to be emptied soon. So I'm hoping the pharmacy has a bunch of stuff in it. And then I'll shoot over to the discount grocery store because it's right over here. And that'll probably be the last dumpster for today. Let's hope there's some goodies in there for us, guys. I'm just gonna pull straight on up to it too. I don't even care. that's all that was in there and I don't even drink these but I will now we're gonna go check that store's dumpster right now oh no guys oh man there's a truck hold hold on I'm not giving up yet because I will walk down to that dumpster yes I will I got scared because I could hear them in the truck. There's nothing in there anyway. It's all actual trash on the top. So that's okay. We're going to go check this dollar type store and that's going to be the last dumpster around here. I didn't get a ton of stuff, but I'm getting a little bit out of each one, which is good. And I definitely can use this Mucinex Sinus Max because I always get like sinus headaches. So that's awesome. All right, on to the next. So I completely forgot about the other office store back here and the dollar store. So we're gonna check these two dumpsters. Hopefully the raccoons aren't in there today. That one's empty. Let's check the dollar store. Same thing with this bread here at this Dollar Tree. Look. It's not, it's like in a bag, but they took it out of the plastic. See it all right there? Yeah, what's up with that? I don't know. Some BS though, huh? All right, that'll do it. So that's all I got, guys. So I will see you next time. And as always, happy diving. Bye, guys. This is everything I got last night, minus a two liter of Diet Dr. Pepper, which I left in my car, and I don't know if you can tell, but it's really gloomy and raining outside, so I'm not going out there, <laughs> plus I'm in my room. Anyway, I got six of these Mucinex Sinus Max nasal sprays. Um, they were originally $5 in that store. Mark and marked them all down to 75 cents, but still couldn't sell them, so they threw them away. I took most of them that were in the dumpster, but there were still some more in there. Then I also got the vitamin water triple X flavor in the zero, which is like no sugar. We got two bags of crispy iced archway oatmeal cookies, one bag of ginger snaps, 
and one box of cinnamon Teddy Grahams. And also the Diet Dr. Pepper 2 liter. But that's all I got, guys. All right, till next time. I'll talk to you all in those comments down below. Bye.